Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and for everyone who has already watched my previous videos, thank you so much for coming back. Today I'd like to share how I made this B chain bracelet and actually this one is my first attempt to finish uh, in a bracelet and um, the thing is this um, when I made this I made six chain the knots and um, this side it's four and um, I felt that it was a little too short so here uh, in the tutorial I will make it with seven and five and one more thing I would like to explain before we start is that I just said seven and five, but it's because the uh, B head part has one less on one side and one less on the other side. So I would like to explain that the chain part is five and then we knot onto one on the head side and then um, so that um, it's easier to, to count and then in the end um, how you end it makes more sense to say one knot on the side of the each side of the, the head part and um, the rest is five knots each on both sides so all right um, let's get started in order to make this bracelet we need four strings the longest one, which we use for chain, here we use blue. We need 240 centimeters or seven feet, 10.5 inches. For the black one, we need 100 centimeters or three feet, 3.4 inches. And for white and yellow, we need the same length, which is 70 centimeters or two feet, 3.6 inches. In order to make the initial loop, first we overlap the edges of white and yellow strings. The overlap lengths should be around 20 centimeters or 8 inches. Then we place the center of the black string next to the center of the overlapped parts. Then we take the blue string and make one lark head knot onto the center of all the three strings. Now separate the blue strings and set up to start making the initial loop. In order to work on this side, make sure that you have the long side of the yellow strings and the short side of the white string. Take the blue string and make six backward forward knots. Flip over to the other side. To work on this side, make sure that you have the long side of the white string and the short side of the yellow string. Take the blue string and make six forward backward knots.
while forming the loop, separate the short white string and the short yellow string from each side and place them on the back side so that we will not knot when we make the bead. Now we set up the strings in order to make the B. From the right side, there will be blue, black, yellow, black, white, and blue. Here, I already made two Bs and back to the beginning. First, we make one more chain on the right side, meaning one more backward forward knot with the blue string onto the black and the yellow string. This makes the right three strings a little lower than the left three strings. Now take the white string and make one double forward knot onto the black string. Now take the yellow string and make one double backward knot onto the white string and that will connect both sides. Now take the black string on the right and make one backward forward knot onto the white string. Now take the blue string on the left and make one forward backward knot onto the black string. Then take the black string on the left and make one four backward knot onto the yellow string. Now take the yellow string and make one double forward knot onto the white string. Take the blue string on the left and make one forward backward knot onto the black string. Now take the white string and make one double backward knot onto the black string. Finally, just like we did in the beginning, make one more backward forward knot with the blue string onto the black and yellow string on the right side. 
by adding one more chain on each side of the bee's head. That will make seven chains on the right side and five chains on the left side. Now continue making five back row forward knots on the right side to make the chain. Now we make the left chain by making five forward back row knots with the blue string onto the black and white string. And now we're back to the beginning. At this point, the edges of the chains should be the same height. In order to continue with the next B, make sure you make one extra chain on the right side with one back row forward knot. Repeat the steps until it reaches the desired length. Okay, so here I made nine B motifs and the chain part there are eight in between and after that i made two of three strand uh, braids and finished with overhead knot so now i will cut the tail the, the end here and it's uh, done Oh, actually, no, it's not that. I have to cut here too. So the first uh, two uh, strings from the um, the loop we just cut as close as possible, but make sure don't cut the loop itself because I once did it and uh, it became a little wobbly there. So just cut as close as possible, but not. That don't touch the, the loop string and now it's uh, really done <laughs> and um, when you compare with the, the first one I made you can see that there are a little more intervals here and I think I like this one better to to have a kind of um, little space in between but of course if you prefer it to be closer make sure that um, that as far as the the, uh, the head side has two more than this side um, you can do in, in in any length and with black yellow and white as a motif there will be many colors you can choose as a chain so i think um, you'll be able to have fun choosing the colors as well so thank you so much for watching and um, hope to see you soon